Hi and welcome to this Soundwoofer tutorial. My name is Carl and I am co-founder and product developer here at Soundwoofer. Today I will be showing you our new update to the library, allowing you to register and create a profile so that you can upload impulse responses and help make the library grow. Alright, so you have some really cool impulse responses that you want to share with your friends or just show off your sick new sound to other people on the internet. Once you click your way into the following link, you will end up on this page right here. You can either choose to click on register as a new user or you can click on the Facebook service where your account gets registered using Facebook authentication method with your profile. In this example, I have chosen to register using my email. I clicked on register and then checked my email for confirmation. Make sure to check your spam if you can't find it. Once your account has been verified, you can now choose to log in. On the top right corner, you can choose to access your profile. Here you will be able to fill out information regarding yourself and have a fast access to your uploaded components and rigs. So, now I want to upload my new impulse response. The first thing I have to do is register the rig that I used when making the impulse response. And to do that, I'd have to register the components that exist in that rig. So logically, the first step we take from here is to click on components. The rig that I used was fairly simple, consisting only of a power amp, a 4x12 cabinet, and an SM57. Once I have added my components, I click on rigs. Here, I can see on the right side all of the components I have and would like to add to create a rig. All I have to do now is add a name and description and submit. Now we have our rig set. It's time to add the impulse response. We clicked on library and we find our rig right there. When clicking on the rig, a drop-down menu will display various information regarding the components existing within the rig. But as we see, it's lacking the juicy impulse response. What we do is click on details, which takes us to the rig. Next, we click on add impulse. Here we have some information regarding microphone positioning. This is so that if, say, another person really enjoyed how you captured your sound, they could follow the positioning to try and recreate a similar result. Here I have named the impulse response in a specific way. I have added the name of the cabinet, the name of the microphone, which speaker element I was targeting, and then the X, Y, Z positioning in centimeters. I simply add the impulse response, and boom, we finally have the impulse response placed right on our library. You can now try out the impulse response by using different samples available in the library.